Today we will be talking specifically about the instruments developed to uh, secure your current trades, your portfolio from a falling market as a one, a one that we are having right now. So we will talk specifically about what are the instruments, what makes them different from each other and what are the optimal strategies to execute on a falling market in case if you haven't secured your trades at the time of launching your bot. I think we can start from now. <clears throat> so yeah, greetings everyone. My name is Dmitry. I am the portfolio manager, trader, and together with BeatsGap, we are developing automated trading uh, algorithms for you to uh, benefit on a rising market and to maximize returns on a sideways market and minimize losses on a falling market. And today's agenda will be, first of all, how to start, how to launch a board with simple configurations in just five minutes. So even you, if you haven't ever tried trading automated trading bots, if you never launched any auto algorithms and even maybe never used BeatScap platform, then today you will be able to learn how to launch bots in just five minutes. So that's going to be a very simple, straightforward process, a step-by-step -step guide from me. So we will launch your first bot together with me. The second topic we will be discussing today is <clears throat> the question which actually bothers the mind of pretty much all of the traders. When is the best time to launch automated trading algorithms and we have two strategies and several instruments to allow you maximize your returns depending on your risk to return appetite, your financial goals and available capital. So everything, all of these use cases will be discussed. And the third topic will be is when to close bots because Launching the bot is just the first step. The next step is also very important is when to lock in profits. So what are the optimal timing on the market to close bots and what are the instruments that we've developed at BeatsCap that allow you to uh, exit from the market effectively. So we will be talking about five exit strategies that we've developed. And finally, how to boost returns and what are the optimal market scenarios to launch bots. So what are the optimal grid spacing configurations, the grid quantity, and basically what is the optimal configuration depending on the current market formation. So it can be a rising market, it can be a sideways market or a falling market. So for all of these uh, market formations, we have optimal strategies for you to offer. <clears throat> so let's go. And first of all, a quick uh, refresh. What is basically the AI that enabled BitScap to automate trading, develop to uh, improve it so that you would be able to use our best recommended strategies, optimal configurations um, straight away. So the um, algorithm that we are um, exploding at BeatsCap is known as the grid mechanism and the idea of this strategy is basically that you allow the bot to plot the cell limit orders which on this chart, let me use the laser pointer represented by these uh, cell side so it plots cell limit orders and by that it implies taking uh, the base currency so it takes the base currency it distributes it proportionately by all of these limit orders so as soon as the price triggers cell limit order it will sell the base currency and take the profit in the quote currency and the opposite side is the buy side where you have buy limit orders 
uh, equally distributed within the trading range so you need the quote currency in this case to buy the base currency because in order to sell something you must possess it and that's why you need the quote currency to buy the base currency so that later at a higher price the system will sell it on your behalf and extract the marginal profit from the market so that's the simple idea and so once again you have the trading range which is defined by the highest sell price and the lowest buy price and within this trading range uh, you have other greed levels so greed levels they are also known as uh, limit buy or s limit sell orders depending on whether they are located above the current price so if it's above then that's obviously a sell limit order and if the limit order is below the current price then apparently that's the buy limit price so as soon as the price triggers the sell limit order the system sells well in this example we have the Bitcoin and at the price of 11,500 the system in this case the board algorithm it sells the base currency at that price and then uses capital to allocate a new buy limit order below the price and by that it basically enables the system to to have an everlasting trading process so as soon as the price stays within the trading range it will keep buying low and selling high and the calculation of your profit here is very simple so here it is 11,500 that's the price at which the uh, algorithm completed a sell order it takes that amount which is 11,250 to open a new buy limit order so the difference in this case is exactly what stands for the bot profit so in this case we take from the market 250 dollars which goes directly to our balance so that's the profit already we are locked in this profit it's not unrealized profit it's already realized as we also can call it the profit which goes directly to your pocket and yeah with the power of artificial intelligence a highest frequency execution is now possible so there is a bunch of cryptocurrencies trading on the market and trading to Bitcoin trading to USDT many cryptocurrencies and regardless of the market trend regardless if the market is moving upwards downwards or it's moving sideways the algorithm is able to generate consistent profit inflow and execute trades on a daily basis so here you see the example of land trading to Bitcoin as well as icon trading to Bitcoin and for the period of 83 days it has managed to execute almost 19,000 trades in total so that's exactly 220 trades per day so fully unbiased emotionless it just keeps following the plan it just keeps trading on your behalf so that's what you can expect from our bots so it can be that you can achieve 220 trades per day or it can be 153 trades per day that depends on the market volatility as well as on the configuration that you assigned to your bot strategy and as I already said it's a consistent profit inflow so the idea is once again that the system buys low on your behalf and sells at a higher price to take this marginal profit from the market and that creates this a consistent profit inflow and added up together these profits they make up a decent return in a in a midterm in a long-term perspective so you will find that on the platform we have this feature called backtesting so in the backtesting you can actually check so here it is you can actually check what would be the return if you launch the bot 
back at some point of time you can select the date range and you will find that here you have the annual estimated return it's not guaranteed of course it is based on a in this case a monthly past performance but at least you can use this information to make some projections but more about the backtest instrument that we've developed at Bitscap and other features that we have we will discuss later in this presentation so stay with me so yeah in the long term and the mid-term perspective returns can be quite impressive and the profit generated is in the quote currency of course so once again regardless of the market direction it just keeps generating profits on your behalf so you see ERD trading to USDT the profit generated in the USDT so on this market on the rising market land trading to USDT so enabling automated trading strategies you basically let the system to automatically generate profits on your behalf so you don't have to spend an enormous uh, an amount of time uh, on constantly executing trades manually it just the system makes it on your behalf all right so it is fully automated and that's it's one of the greatest advantages in comparison with a ordinary manual trading strategy and yeah uh, strategies they can be back tested so before launching uh, any of the bot on a particular cryptocurrency you can back test the strategy to find out what would be a return if you would have launched the bot back at some point of time in the past it can be four days ago seven days ago 15 days ago so it's up to you to to backtest the strategy to find out which cryptocurrency is optimal for your trading uh, uh, strategy so it can be that you are risk averse or you are ready to take uh, risky trades but this feature we will once again discuss later during today's webcast and how you can use the backtest instrument to find those optimal cryptocurrencies that comply with your risk to return uh, projections risk tolerance and other metrics so now let's go directly to the uh, platform in the bot section page and we will launch our first bot so as you open the main page well I mean once you log in then you see these sections here you click on bots and <clears throat> you see this nice chart that you have here and by the way you can use this chart to conduct your thorough uh, technical analysis so you don't have to uh, open the trading view platform for instance to make your technical analysis you can already here use the chart to plot all of the instruments that you need you can plot like Fibonacci retracement so all the things that are necessary for uh, traders they are already built in here so while trading you can conduct a technical analysis and on the right side here is where the action is actually sorry the uh, setup is actually happening so here you have the simple mode configuration of the bot and the advanced mode we will stick to the advanced mode because it offers the full potential as I call it because it has all of the instruments that we will be uh, specifically talking about today so that's why we will stick to the advanced mode and regarding the uh, differences between the simple and the advanced mode is that in the simple you don't have trading up stop loss and take profit instrument as well as you don't have this specification of your investment distribution as you have in the advanced mode so in the advanced mode you know the exact proportionate investment distribution so let's choose here below you see 
recommended strategies. So these are the strategies that are sorted by top performers of the month. So you see based on a monthly backtest results. So based on this backtest result, it turns out that storage trading to Bitcoin is uh, by today is the top performer and it has managed to make 125% within the month. And you can switch to week, for example, and you will see that now the uh, list is updated and instead of storage you have QSP trading to Bitcoin. So I will stick to the monthly basis and let's now select any of the recommended strategies. So let's say I'm interested in um, something trading to USDT and let it be Anchor trading to USDT. And you see automatically the system assigns a trading range. It plots all of the sell and limit by orders uh, configuration, but you don't have to stick to this configuration. You can actually change it by the first option is to manually drag the line. So you drag the upper limit price in any direction you want. So if you want to have less sell limit orders, yeah, sorry, let me use the mouse. Yeah, so if you want to set a narrow sell side, then you just simply drag the upper limit price below. Or if you want to have a wider sell zone, then you just drag it higher. Same applies to the lower limit price, which you can adjust accordingly. So you can move it higher and you can drag it below. So that's the configurations that you can manipulate with. Yeah. And regarding uh, what are the optimal configurations from my experience, we will discuss it in just 10 minutes. So just once again, stay with me step by step. You will learn many things today. So you see, let's say I want to stick to this configuration where I have an equal split. So I have 50 50 distribution. So that means in this case, <clears throat> if I assign a thousand USDT and here you see, I can actually choose the investment value. But before actually jumping to this investment allocation, let's first go through the strategies that we have. And we have the Asbot strategy, which as of today uh, offers the highest efficiency uh, algorithm. And it is it, it has been originated from the classic bot. So the difference between these two strategies is in the way the algorithm uh, distributes your investment. So in case of the classic bot, on each level it buys and sells absolutely the same amount of the base currency. So here on the left side below <clears throat> I have some active bots and let's check the one which is currently sticks to the uh, classic strategy and that's in this case BitTorrent trading to USDT. So I click on view and what I will find out in my open orders here is that I have an absolute parity here. So you see an equal amount to be purchased. So that means that with this setup, my investment <clears throat> allocation varies significantly. So if the price is higher, buying the same amount of the base currency will result in a uh, larger investment required. And if the price in this case is lower, and you see if we multiply it by the same amount as if we would have purchased it at a higher price, the investment value is going to be lower. Whereas when it comes to the ASBO strategy, the idea here is that it ensures an equal investment uh, distribution per each level. So let's say <clears throat> I have lent trading to USDT. It has the ASBOT strategy. I click on view, open orders. So you will find out that here in this case, the amount of the base currency varies significantly. And if you multiply this column, the amount by the uh, price, 
<clears throat> you will find out that the investment value is the same. So for each level, it buys and sells the <clears throat> sorry the same located investment. So that's something for you to consider before choosing a strategy. So because it can be that in case of the classic bot, it can buy a bit more than actually you allocated. So it can actually go a little bit beyond of your uh, allocated balance. So it can take some extra capital from your balance, <clears throat> but that's in rare cases and it only takes a very tiny proportion of your extra capital. But imagine if the market is rising and it buys a bit more than it was allocated. So you see, it's, imagine I allocated a thousand USDT, but according to the algorithm, it can buy a bit more. It can buy up to, let's say, 150, sorry, 1050 USDT. So on the rising market, buying more of the base currency actually will bring you more return. But in case of a falling market, the risk can be higher because you are now <clears throat> stuck with a higher investment where you're supposed to have. So that is something to consider. And the ASBOT actually, it's not 100% guaranteed because it is the algorithm which takes into account the minimum order sizes uh, from the uh, exchanges requirements. So it can be that it still can buy a bit more than allocated, but the system is originated from the classic bot. And as I already demonstrated, it ensures that it buys and I mean, it allocates your investment proportionately per each level. So yeah, that's why the performance of the S bot can vary from the performance of the classic bot. And it's not always the case whether the S bot is better or the classic bot is better. It just depends on the market volatility and the cryptocurrency pair you are trading, as well as the exchange that you've selected. So with the S bot, you can have up to 180 of limit orders in total, also known as grid levels. So notice that. Let me just ch uh, check if I have enough of the USDT on my balance. Yeah, actually not enough. So let's choose another cryptocurrency pair trading to Bitcoin because you see I have more Bitcoins right now when I have USDT. So let's choose band trading to Bitcoin and let's have 0 0.7 and let's, let's say I want to have a hundred. Yeah, so what you will find out is that the uh, lesser grid levels you assign, the bigger is your grid spacing. So the larger is the gap between your uh, limit orders, the larger is the uh, distance. So if you, let's say, have only 50 grid levels, you will notice that now the grid spacing has changed to 2.78%. So that means that my, once again, spacing between my orders has been increased and let's use the yellow color. So you see that's the spacing between my orders over here. So the bigger is your gap between orders, the higher is the uh, marginal profit that you will take from the market. All right. But what you also have to understand is that depending on the volatility, having a very large gap, so let's say only, let's say you have a 7% of the gap. It can be that due to a small volatility, the system, I mean, the price of the cryptocurrency won't reach your level. So it won't execute trades at assigned levels. So that's why you would skip this trade opportunity. Whereas when you have, let's say 120 grid levels, and now you see the grid spacing is significantly reduced and you see this, um, you see this density of 
grid levels. So with this density, with this small reduced grid spacing, it's more likely that the price, even if the volatility is relatively uh, uh, small, then it will still most likely the the vast majority of your grid levels it will execute them all right so the the price will trigger your limit orders so that's something you have to understand when you select what is the amount of grid levels you want to have so the once again the more of the grid levels you have the smaller is your marginal profit in this case but the more chances that the price will hit all of your grid levels whereas when you have a reduced amount of grid levels let's say 40 and in this case the grid spacing is increased then the marginal profit in this case is going to be uh, bigger but the chances that the price will eventually hit I mean it will trigger all of the limit orders is also in this case reduced all right now let's select in this example 60 grid levels so as you see I selected 60 grid levels and the system tells me that I must have at least 0 0.27 bitcoins to start this board but according to my balance I only have 0 0.1 so if I want to still stick to this uh, strategy I must adjust the grid quantity so instead of having 60 I will just adjust it. Oh yeah, actually I have to choose another, let's say 0 0.7. Yeah, so for this amount it's not enough. Let's adjust. With this now I can launch the board successfully. So once again, with this investment allocation of 0 0.07 bitcoins, I can only launch this board with 15 grid levels. Whereas if I change my investment or if I change my grid quantity, let's say to 50, in this case, the more grid levels you assign to the board, the more investment is in this case required because per each limit order, the cryptocurrency exchange has its minimum uh, trade size requirements. And in case of Binance and other exchanges, requirements can vary uh, significantly. So it can be that launching band trading to Bitcoin is beneficial on, let's say, KuCoin, whereas on Binance it will require you to have more investment. So depending on the requirements, the configuration can also be different. So you see, with this amount of investment allocation, I am not able to launch the board with 15 grid levels. So if I click on adjust grid quantity, now with 15 grid levels, I'm able to launch this bot. So let's say I'm satisfied with this configuration and I'm ready to initiate the bot. So I click on start the bot. And what you will find out here is that the system will automatically um, ask you to buy that amount of the base currency to launch the bot. Because notice that on my balance, I don't have the... Uh, Bent cryptocurrency as my base currency so I should either go to the trading platform to use the limit buy order to buy this amount or I can stick to the market buy execution which is recommended in this case by the algorithm so in, if you don't want to waste your time because actually going and uh, on, on a trading platform using the smart order and finding the proper price for the limit by order it actually takes time so if you are in a rush and the market is right now ex experiencing uh, extreme volatility then you'd rather stick to this market buy so I click on yes and it will buy the required amount of the base currency the only thing here you but that you have to take into account is that it will buy a little bit more than initially calculated so you see here with this trading setup where i have 15 grid levels with a wider buy zone and a narrow sell side it requires me to buy 22 bands and to have 0 0.04 bitcoins as a quote currency and as i click on start it 
asks me to buy more. That's because of the fee implied in this investment allocation. So for each execution, the exchange, as you know, it takes the fee. So each time you buy or sell, it takes the fee. And here, that is why we have this already priced in. So that's why we are buying a bit more of the base currency than actually required because of the fee that you have to pay in any case. So I click on yes, buy. And what you will find out is that your bot buys from the market with a market by order, a required amount of band, and now it is in the list of your active bots. So here you get the information you need, like the investment value allocated to the bot. So in case of band, it's 0.0. 07 almost in case of icon that's 1400 usdt and you can click on any of the bot currently active to see its performance on a chart or like let's make let, let's click on icon trading to bitcoin so you see on the chart now i have my performance maybe not the best example to show because that's the <clears throat> sample trade that i've launched just almost two months ago maybe i should show you another one let it be icon trading to usdt yeah so you see all of the trades executed on a chart green circles they represent buy orders and red circles they represent sell orders respectively and if you want to find out at which price precisely the system purchased or sold the uh, base currency and then you just click on view and here you have the completed orders so all the information is here and most importantly you have the fee implied and already priced in the calculation so the profit that you see in the bot profit section uh, is the profit which is already realized and it goes directly to your balance so that's the profit which is already with you which you can use to initiate other bots or you can use to manually trade or you can withdraw this money well whatever you want so now comes the <clears throat> question regarding the what makes in this case the investment change different from the bot profit and what actually unites them so let's go back to the presentation <clears throat> and find out yeah actually that's the remember i've been talking about the uh, difference between the as bot and the classic bot so here it is you see once again that's the classic bot equal amount distributed and you see the investment value in this case varies significantly whereas with the as bot it ensures an equal investment distribution per each level so what makes the investment change different from the bot profit and what actually unites these two concept concepts is that the investment change is the <clears throat> key metric that you should monitor because it already takes into account the bot profit so you see here is the example that's BitTorrent trading to USDT and my investment change is at the time I made this screenshot was 12% <clears throat> so that means that to that initial investment of almost 400 USDT I am now up by 12% so if you multiply the investment initial investment value by the investment change then you will find out what is the current investment value of your uh, strategy well of your investment allocated so that's in this case 448 usdt comparing with the initial investment of 400 so in this case the difference between the two is the the profit that we've managed to generate <clears throat> so the second method to uh, to 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 grasp the concept of the investment change and the bot profit is the calculation here so what you can actually do is when you click on view you will find out that you have 
this section called open orders. So you see that that's the exact value of your current investment. So if you simply take this amount of icons in this trade and multiply it by the current price, you will find what is the current investment uh, value of your strategy. So in this case, what we have to take is we take the open orders, so that's 414, and we add it to the bot profit. So the profit already locked in, and which goes directly to our balance, and we get the exact same number. And the difference is the same, 48.91. So once again, the bot profit is already priced in the investment change, whereas investment change can also be affected by the value change of the base currency because it can be that you ha you have some uh, of the base currency in your open orders and that's why they are affected by the value change as the market is constantly <clears throat> rising and falling that means that the price swings and it can be that 10 minutes ago you were up by 10% and one hour later you are now up by 20%. That's because of the <clears throat> positive value change of the base currency. Or it can be negatively affected as well. But the bot profit is a constant in this case. It is the profit that you already possess and it already is priced in the investment change. So now is the time to discuss what are the optimal scenarios to launch automated trading boards. So what are the optimal market scenarios and best timing to launch bots. So imagine this scenario where you have a rising channel formation. So the market is moving upwards and you find this formation formed by the uh, support and resistance line. This formation is once again known as the rising channel and according to this pattern formation, the price bounces off the support level and reverts, it pulls back from the uh, resistance line and you can actually capture this moment and the best moment to capture is when you see that the price hits the support level or at least closely approaches it and then you see bullish candles formation so that basically for you is a sort of confirmation that the support line sustain and you can actually enter this trade. So here's the configuration which you can use. You can use it having a wider sell zone up to the next, as I call it, exit no, stop point where you see the uh, resistance line and the narrow buy zone just in case if the price will once again try to <clears throat> test the support line so you 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 give this gap for the price just in case it falls a bit to buy the base currency so that in, in any case later you sell it at a higher price so here the expectation is that the the system will stick to the pattern formation and that's why this configuration is an optimal for this exact trading setup. So you see once again resistance, pullback. So that's where you can over here plot the stop loss for your strategy just in case if the um, pattern does not sustain, if the price will breach the support line and to limit your losses to limit your risk, you plot your stop loss below the rising channel formation. So, and you see that's the outcome of this pattern formation. You see at that point we would have entered the trade and you see how eventually the price moved upwards. It reached the upper limit, it reached the resistance it reverted and then again reached and then later it again reverted. So in general the market was rising and that's where you can capitalize on. <clears throat> Another formation is actually where you have a 
in general a rising market and you see this support line and notice that in many um, of the top actually yeah top 15 cryptocurrencies by the liquidity by the capitalization to be more precise you will find out that they actually respect support and resistance lines as these lines are also known as psychological levels so here's a perfect visualization of how these top 15 cryptocurrencies and if i'm not mistaken that's the example of bnb trading to usdt they actually support sorry they um, respect support lines with resistance so you can trade from support and resistance lines and the optimal configuration that i've already demonstrated is yeah over here the one that you see right now <clears throat> so let's keep going yeah that's you see bnb trading to usdt another example is in this case that's the sideways formation and which is also formed by the resistance and support lines you see this the exact pattern formation and the idea here is once again that it bounces off the support and reverts from the resistance lines so here is the example of the configuration which you can use so let's say the price is somewhere in the middle of the sideways formation <clears throat> somewhere as i call it a neutral zone so because it stays in between between the resistance and support lines so that's the kind of fun configuration that you can have you have a 50 50 split so you have a 50 percent of your investment allocated in the base currency and 50 percent of your investment allocated to the quote currency so you actually expect the price to uh, fluctuate within this trading range and eventually to break the upper limit to break the resistance so that the price and now will establish new higher highs <clears throat> so you see what happened later it moved upwards then downwards again upwards so during this period of stagnation this sideways formation allows you to generate a consistent profit inflow and I will show you the exact examples in five minutes and now it's just another example on a long-term distance on a long-term perspective where you can spot these um, sideways formations and eventually out of the sideways formation the, the price breached the resistance line and went higher so here's another example sideways formation where you can enter the trade and expecting the price to breach the resistance line you would capitalize on a rising market later so not only generating profits within the sideways formation but on a rising market as well maximizing your returns as the value of the base currency in this case is positively affected yeah so <clears throat> So what you are looking for is not only for the sideways formations because you can spot sideways formations even on the falling market but you want to maximize your returns right and that's why a trend is your friend and you want to follow a trend and when you see a general rising market and within this rising market you spot the sideways formation then most likely the price will eventually breach the resistance line to establish new higher highs so that's what you are looking for to maximize your returns enter on a sideways to later capitalize even more on a rising market as the price breaches the resistance line <clears throat> yeah so once again you see the price is affected not only by sorry the uh, investment change is affected not only by the bot profit and as i already explained the, the idea of the algorithm that we implemented at bitscap is to buy low and sell high but it is also affected by the value change of the base currency and you see in general the market is rising and that's bnb trading to ethereum so not only the bot profit here is generated but the value of the bnb has been positively affected 
and that's what I call an active investment change, an active hodler, sort of. So that's the value change, positive, and the bot profit. So that's how we achieve maximized returns. So that's exactly what we are looking for. We are looking for the rising market so that the bot will generate profits for us and the base currency would also appreciate in its value. And on the sideways market, you see the idea that I already explained is to earn during the stagnation because while the rest uh, traders that stick to the simple uh, hodl strategy and as you know, hodl strategy implies just buying a base currency which just lies in your portfolio and you do nothing about it. So on the sideways market, during this period of stagnation, these traders, they make zero returns because you see the price stays somewhere in the neutral zone. So yes, it goes higher, but eventually it falls. And yeah, you see in general, it's the zero profit area. But with automated trading, you let the bot to use the base currency, in this case BNB, to generate profits in Ethereum. And by that, you ensure that during the sideways formation, you are not stagnant, you are actually making profits. And by that, you significantly outstrip, outperform the rest traders. So here's the exact uh, comparison with between the simple hodl strategy and the automated trading strategy. You see, where I have this hodl arrow, that's the price and the point of time at which imagine you just buy, in this case, Bitcoin Cash. And then you expect the price to move higher to capitalize on it. And yes, eventually the price moves higher and up to current price, you would be only up by 5%. All right. So you purchased Bitcash at lower price and now the price is higher and now it's basically plus 5%. But with automated trading, during this period, as we were moving to current price at the time where I, when I made this screenshot the, the, the bot was making profits on every market swing you see it was buying low and selling high and by that it ensured a consistent profit inflow to my balance and that's why from that point up to that the bot has managed to make 14% so that's almost by three times bigger return. So that's the perfect visualization of how automated trading significantly outperforms a simple hodl strategy. So you see the difference 5% and 14%. So that's possible only with automated trading. And <clears throat> Finally, what are the instruments to boost and secure your profits? So at Bitcap, we have a bunch of instruments and the first one is the trailing up. That's the one that you will find over here in the advanced mode. Trailing up. So the idea of the trailing up is that the the trading range, as you know, is defined by the upper and lower limit prices and as the market establishes a new higher high, so it moves higher. With a trailing up feature on, so when you have it on like this, yeah, let me just switch it like this. So that means that by that you ensure that the algorithm will follow the market rise. So the trading range in this case will adjust accordingly and will move together with the market price. Imagine that later the price establishes even a new higher high. So with a trailing up feature on, the trading range will follow the market appreciation. But from that point, imagine that the price uh, breaches the lower limit price, so it breaches the support line and now is trading below the trading range. And as you remember, the, the bot executes trades only when the market, sorry, when the price stays within the trading range. But in this case, you see it is now trading lower 
the market is trading lower so that's the area where the bot stops trading so the with a trailing up instrument you only follow the market upside momentum the trading range will not follow the uh, downside pullback so as soon as the price eventually reverses back and is now trading within the newly formed trading range this is where the bot will continue trading and imagine it will establish a new higher high then in this case the trading range will follow the price appreciation so once again the trailing up that's why it's called trailing up because it only follows up all right so it will not follow the depreciation that's why using a trailing up you enable the system to participate in the upside momentum so by that you won't skip market rally <clears throat> so here's the example i had energy trading to bitcoin the quantity of grid levels the investment allocated strategy and in this case i had my trailing up instrument on and you see initially my trading range was defined by these levels represented by yellow lines and as soon as the price breached the resistance line and actually it in other words reached breached the upper limit price you see the trading range started to follow the market momentum and you see it has managed to generate profits on this rising market it has managed to execute all of these trades and as of now the trading range is now over here so if I don't have a trailing up then in this case I just get stuck within my trading range so if the price breaches the upper limit price I will in this case skip this upside momentum and no trades will be executed during this upside momentum so by that I actually disable my board to generate profits for me so I just got stuck here with my investments and yeah nothing in this case happens in the strategy so if you want to really follow the market fully automatically if you want to follow automatically the market appreciation then having a trailing up instrument on is an optimal choice in this case but if you use automated trading algorithms as a sort of a manual strategy so you still prefer to uh, monitor the automated algorithm and you prefer to close it each time the the market is about to fall and then eventually you relaunch the bot at a lower price so maybe using a trailing up is not an option for you in this case but for those traders, investors that just want to allocate a certain investment and to make sure that the algorithm will fully automatically follow the market rise, then using this trailing up instrument is what you are actually looking for. So by that you ensure an almost 100% automation, you ensure that the bot will generate profits on the rising market as it establishes new higher highs. So another feature is actually that the bot profit offsets the negative value change of the base currency. So here's the example, same HODL strategy compared with the uh, ultimate trading strategy. So imagine that where you see this HODL, you buy quantum and then eventually price drops to this current price. And by that you are minus you bear a loss of minus 6.88%. But with automation, your loss would actually be only minus 3%. So that's more than by two is less. So that's because of the bot profit generated during this falling market as it was still buying low and selling high because once again regardless of the market direction if the market is rising sideways or moving downwards 
the, the, the price constantly swings lower and higher and that's why the bot is able to capture these moments to buy low and sell high and that's where it takes this marginal profit which later offsets the negative value change in general. So instead of having an almost minus 7% of a loss, with automated trading, bot profit offsets this negative value change by almost a half and you say instead of having minus 7, you only bear a loss of minus Alright, so we are back and I'm I'm sorry for that, that's the internet connection issue. So yeah, I apologize for that. Let's let's just once again open the Bitscap page. Alright, so quickly enter the market. Yeah, so once again sorry for that unexpected internet disconnect that just not on my side that I can control. So we um we've been talking about the stop loss trading up and take profit features. So if you haven't launched them, sorry, if you uh, didn't set them at the time of launching the board, then you can always later switch them on as you click on view of any of your active strategy. And here you have the stop loss, the trailing up, as well as the take profit, which you can all assign. So the stop loss is here. The trailing up is over here. So let's say you were in a rush and you didn't have enough of the time to set all of these take profit stop loss and trailing up instruments at the time of launching the bot then later you can still optimize them in in any way you want so that's something that we have here secured for you so don't worry uh, we do understand that time is money and that's why we have these instruments possible to be configured uh, after you launch the bot so sources of trade ideas so even this feature we have at beats gap which allows you to generate trade ideas using our instruments and the first one already i demonstrated that's the recommended strategies based on the backtest result so at least you can consider trading these cryptocurrencies just because they are top performers of a month based on a return that they've generated on their rise potential so that means that at least these cryptocurrencies they are enough they have enough of the liquidity and interest on the market that you can consider to trade as well and another instrument that we have is backtesting all right so the the idea of the backtest is that you can actually check what would have been the performance of a configuration of a certain strategy if you've launched the board back at some point of time in the past so let's say land trading to USDT why not so I want to backtest this strategy and all I have to do is to just show backtesting results and here you have the date range and let's say I'm interested in the period of from the 5th of August until the 19th of August so let's save it and that's the 14 days period in this case and for that period you will find out that the board that's over here and actually let me switch my trailing up just to make sure that it will follow the market yeah you see slightly different so without the trailing up it would be only 2% as you remember and now as I have my trailing up on you see it has managed to follow the market so even in the backtest you can actually um, find out what would be the return if you would have uh, opted a trailing up feature or not so with the trailing up here you see I switched it on my backtest shows me 11% whereas if I switch it off then you will find out that's only 2% you see so it backtests strategy with all of the instruments let's stick to the trading up so I want my strategy to keep following the market appreciation 
So you see that from the period of 5th August until the 19th of August, my return would be 11% in the quote currency. And let's check for, for the period of one month. So that's, you see, a 30 days in this case result. And that's 21% in this case. So <clears throat> you can, using backtest, to find those cryptocurrencies that offer decent returns and an adequate risk which complies with your trading discipline. So if you are, let's say, a risk taker, then you are looking for those cryptocurrencies that offer extreme returns, but you have to bear in mind that this extremely volatile cryptocurrencies that bring immense returns they are volatile in both directions so as they arise heavily they can also drop drastically so if you ready to take this risk that the price rises by let's say 50 percent and then in just a matter of two days falls by 60 percent then that's something you have to take into account and if you are looking for some um, kind of adequate cryptocurrencies that offer um, medium returns, like quite uh, conservative returns, so you will find that these cryptocurrencies, they are adequate in both sides, so they have an adequate risk and they have an adequate risk to return profile. So having this 21% of the return in the bot profit just in a period of 30 days is, an, is a very appealing uh, percentage that many traders and investors are looking for. So the upside potential was in this case, let's calculate from the point of the 5th of August up to the highest price. You see it was up by 186% and from that highest point, let's find out what was the pullback. So you see the pullback is now minus 37%. So if you are ready to take this risk that eventually you will see that the value of the base currency has fallen by 37%. So maybe this is the cryptocurrency you are looking for. And using backtest, you can compare different cryptocurrencies with each other. So let's say I want to compare Lent with Storgy for the same period. So I select Storgy, show backtest, and let's select the same period, that's the 5th of August until the today's September. Save it. So you see, for that period, <clears throat> it has managed to make almost by five times higher return you see a hundred and ten percent so the upside potential here of the uh, value change of the base currency was let's check it out using the instrument that we have here the forecast so from that point up to to the highest you see it was up by 364 percent and in this case the risk was let me change the direction from the highest point down to current well almost minus 50 percent so you see for this higher return compared with the land trading to USDT here you take a higher risk so if you are ready to take this higher risk for this bigger return then it could be that storgy is the the cryptocurrency of your choice and you won't stick to the land trading to USDT cryptocurrency pair so that's the way of how you can use backtesting to find optimal strategies and most importantly to um, backtest strategies with instruments like trailing up stop loss and you can compare so I've already demonstrated what is the difference where you when you have when, where you, when you have the trading up instrument on and when you don't have it on so what are the differences in the bot profit and you can backtest by using these instruments and other instruments 
on absolutely any cryptocurrency offered by the exchange so everything here is for you which you can backtest and find optimal uh, cryptocurrencies to trade and using a demo mode that we have and you see that here I have my virtual money demo mode is nothing more than just a risk-free trading simulator where you can experiment discover and develop own trading strategies using um, virtual money so fully risk-free but fully optimized at the same time it kind of by 100% mimics a uh, real trading so you can start experimenting on a demo mode and as soon as you find your optimal cryptocurrencies to trade and optimal configurations to trade then you can switch to your real account over here to trade with your real money that's the idea of the demo mode and how you can use it to uh, optimize your trading before risking any real capital so now let's see if, if there are some questions unanswered and I will provide you with a meaningful answer so some been asking about the um, stop loss with a trailing up altogether so when you have a trailing up instrument on then the stop loss which is set below the lower limit price and it cannot be higher that level so it always stays below the lower limit price the stop loss will follow the market appreciation together with the trading range so as the trading range follows the uh, market rise so does the stop loss it will automatically follow the trading range because it is already a part of your trading range so that's why your stop loss is gonna uh, move higher together with a rising market so by that you minimize your losses and you secure your profits generated on the rising market so that's actually that for today <clears throat> and you can watch our previous webcasts where I covered some other topics and I have their other use cases so just keep experimenting and you have all of the instruments for that fully risk-free before risking any real money you can find your trading configuration best suited for your trading doctrine so use available instruments for that and if you have any questions um, left unanswered then you can use our support on the main page or you can go to the uh, telegram chat where you can ask your question and our kind community managers as well as traders and investors will provide you with their opinion experience so where that's basically where you can exchange your ideas and ask questions so only within the community we can together uh, build knowledge base and to uh, empower our trading strategies so that's it for today and i appreciate your time thanks and see you hopefully next next thursday don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel where we are uploading uh, not only webcasts but also useful and informative videos that will also provide you with some insights into the platform what are the tips and clues so stay tuned and i wish you a profitable trading